camera? Hey guys, welcome back to Angie's Table. So today we are going to be baking French toast and it's going to be a three-way French toast. One is like the most classic French toast. The second will be something that reminds me of when I was in college in St. Louis and we had this one really cute small restaurant and they sold crepes and they had the best French toast there. And it's going to be encrusted with some cereal. And the third one will be a banana bread French toast. So let's go and check out the ingredients. So first, let's start off by cracking three eggs in a mixing bowl. So we're gonna need about three tablespoons of milk, but more if you guys like it with less of an eggy batter. And lastly, we'll add a dash of cinnamon. And we'll give this a whisk. So I didn't really grow up eating French toast. Did you? <laughs> we grew up together, but I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've had French toast a couple times here and there for breakfast, like when we eat out, but not really at home. And I didn't really start making it until I became independent. So enough talking, we'll get to it and let's cut up the bread. So in college, we had this one little restaurant and they used to make French toast and crust it with cereal. They would cut it into threes like this and stagger it on top of each other and it was just really, really good. So we're using vegan banana bread with walnuts from Trader Joe's. I haven't tried this before, so let's see how it tastes. Ooh, it's like almost darker inside. It's not regular flour color. And now we're gonna start cooking and we'll start off with the banana bread French toast first. So the egg batter is for each of the French toast. Now that all of that is done, we're gonna keep the eggs soaking in the bread for about 30 minutes to an hour, and you guys can keep it refrigerated since it is egg. Two tablespoons of butter for each French toast. I think the walnuts came out. I just realized that we took vegan bread and just put an egg batter on it, which defeats the purpose, but I didn't go into Trader Joe's looking for vegan banana bread, but that was all they had. So I hope this turns out well. Very nice crust to it. I do want to try breakfast chocolate. Ooh, that'd be fun. I'm gonna clean this off once and then we'll go ahead and do our classic French toast next. Two more tablespoons to that. Do you guys like how I'm using my chopsticks? I wanted to give you guys a little history session about French toast. So it began when people had leftover bread and they didn't know what to do with it and it was turning stale. So they decided to egg batter it up and cook it. For me, with my breads, I like to keep it in the fridge or freezer and toast it every time I need it so that it is preserved for a longer period of time. And so with French toast, I realized that I really like it when it's frozen because 
I think when it becomes frozen and you thaw it, you form water particles. So it's like pores in the bread that just soak up anything that you give it. So it'll soak up the egg and make it really, really soft and creamy almost. And then the outside is crispy because you have it on egg batter and it's cooking on direct heat. So if you guys are curious, try freezing the bread and try it when it's like a fresh bread and see which one you guys like better. Yum. That is done. We'll transfer this over to the cutting board. Finally, we're gonna be working on our cereal crusted French toast. And for this, I know when we ate at the One Small Cafe, I think it was cornflakes. Don't have that at home, but we normally eat honey bunches of oats. And so I crushed it slightly, batter this onto it before we cook it. I think it'll be good because of the almonds in it too. And the granola pieces. That was so good. That was the best. <laughs> no, actually, and I like this that one the best. best. Mm -hmm. 